How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're obviously going to be talking about Scream 7 and basically talking about if it's going to, you know, if they're, you know, we're basically going to be talking about if we're going to get a Scream 7 or not because um, there's been a lot of rumors out there as you guys know about obviously Scream 7 has not been, you know, confirmed or anything. Uh, sorry for that pause for a little bit. I was just trying to uh, do something. But um, anyways, um, let's get into the video. So we're just basically going to talk about like it, the rumors about Scream 7 and all that, like about it, you know, possibly not happening potentially. Um, which I think it's going to happen personally. I definitely think that we are going to get one. I think I think that we're going to get a Scream 7, if I'm being honest with you. I mean, all the rumors that we've... Uh, I mean, according to a whole bunch of sources and all that, they, you know, the movie has not been announced. You know, we haven't gotten an official announcement yet. But it seems like we're going to be getting a Scream 7. You know, um, that's what I'm thinking. Or is it just all fake? Because there there hasn't really been a decision, you know, made yet at this time, according to obviously this article that I was reading. So there really hasn't really been any like confirmation or anything yet about it. But a lot of people seem to think that it could happen. Or that it might not happen, which that if it doesn't happen, that's going to be pretty disappointing. Um, and and I get it, you know, people want people want you know people want don't want or people don't want another film. I mean, I can understand that in a lot of ways, but screen fans. You know, this franchise is going to keep on continuing. No matter how much people don't, doesn't, you know, as much as people don't really want it to continue, I think it's still going to, you know, going to continue still. I mean, everything that we've, uh, like I said, Scream 5, Scream 6, that's basically a lot of people, you know, say that there was already basically a trilogy. That Scream 4, Scream 5, and Scream 6 is basically basically a trilogy, like, on itself. Um, but I don't really agree with that because I think Radio Silence, when I mean a trilogy, I mean Radio Silence's version. Radio Silence's, you know, trilogy, which Radio Silence, you know, is obviously has stepped down, so they're not going to be returning. But what I mean is that Scream 4, basically, a lot of people count Scream 4 to be a part of Scream 5 and Scream 6 because it's basically, you know, a part of the same timeline. But logically, I mean, I guess in a way you could call that a trilogy, but then again... I don't really, I don't really count that because it's not really, it's not radio silence. Radio silence did not come. They obviously didn't start directing the movies until Screen Five. So it's not like they were, you know, they directed Screen Four. You know, Screen Four is Wes Craven's last film. So I just don't. I, what I mean by trilogy, I mean like Radio Silence's version. And I hope you guys don't understand what I mean. Like, I mean that, like, Radio Silence's version of, of um, a trilogy. Because obviously they're, you know, they're doing their own thing. And they're, well, now we got, you know, we got confirmation that they are stepping down. That they're not going to be returning. And yeah, that is disappointing news. In a lot of ways, but then again, it may open up a you know a door for you know cool stuff. 
you know? Because maybe if Rage of Silence had stayed, maybe we wouldn't have got anything that we were, you know, wanting, like, you know, the stew return and all that. I mean, but I think it, I think it opens the door a lot, you know, a lot, a hell of a lot more, um, definitely. I definitely think that there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, misinformation out there. A lot of articles, a lot of fake articles, you know, that aren't real, in my opinion. You know, a lot of them just are just not real. You know, they're just made up in a lot of ways. Um, And, yeah, I just don't think that we're going to be – I do believe that we will get a Scream 7. Without a doubt, I do believe that we will. But the main question is when – You know, that's the main question, like when, because a lot of people are speculating, including me, I'm saying the same, like, I'm speculating as well. Like, I'm I'm thinking that, we're, I'm thinking that, you know, Scream 7, now we're not going to, we're probably not going to see it until probably around 2025, 2026, somewhere around there. I mean, I could totally see that happening, like, um, because obviously we haven't got any announcement yet, or uh, there is an article out there saying that they already started filming, which is, in my eyes, a lot, you know, just BS, you know? So I don't really know what, like, what to think, but I definitely think that we will get a Scream, fi- or a scream, se- scream 7, excuse me. Um, and yeah, I definitely do think that we will get a Scream 7, and it's just a matter of, like, when. You know, when are we actually going to, like, see it? Because a lot of people were saying, uh, you know, as I was just talking about, a lot of people were saying, you know, there's a lot of articles out there saying that they already started filming and all that. But it doesn't seem like that, you know, that's the case at all. It seems like it seems like it's fake because obviously the real directors of this movie didn't come out you know, and say anything about it, you know, and we don't even know who's going to be making the film at this point, because Radio Silence obviously has stepped down, so, I mean, this is a lot of, a lot of uh, speculation, which I love to speculate, which is why I'm making this video, why I love, you know, theorizing and all that about stuff, love speculating um scream seven is just we need that film as much as people hate it hate the idea of another screen film okay like i understand screen five screen six weren't the greatest films especially screen five that film went downhill but again radio silence you know would lose a lot of money if they just you know quit making the movies you know, they would lose, or not Radio Silence, but the people people involved, you know, the people involved or whoever is going to be involved would probably lose a lot of money for, you know, they, it, it would just, it just wouldn't look right if they just quit making the films. You know what I mean? So I understand, like, why people feel that way, like, why people feel like they shouldn't make another one. But... At the same time, there has to be some kind of closure. Like, there has to be some kind of explanation behind um, behind the whole, you know, who killed Dewey and all that. Because, as you guys know, I, I just don't believe for a second that... Um, I don't believe that Amber killed Dewey. I just don't believe it. I don't believe that a, a 90 pound girl is going to be able to manhandle a grown ass man, you know, like that. I just don't find that to be believable, you know, and if radio silence or whoever, you know, does say that, that what that is believable and that she was really the one that killed Dewey. Well, in my eyes, that's just terrible writing. You know, because I just don't believe that. So 
I just don't believe that, you know, this, this girl is going to manhandle a guy like that. That's just my opinion. Um, you could say it's this camera work and all that stuff, and the camera makes it look different, makes the person look like a man, like whatever, you know. But at the same time, it's like it seems like it's in there for a reason, you know. They get you thinking for a reason. They put all those clues in there. And all the film, like in Scream 5 and Scream 6, you know, for a reason, you know, it might be. That's, what's, that's just what I think. I mean, come on. I mean, Scream 6, and you guys know where I'm going at here. You guys know what direction I'm going. Like, um, and Scream 6, you know, about the whole Stu thing, you know. Screen five, I had speculation that he was the one that killed Dewey. You know? So, because I just don't believe, like I said, I don't believe that a girl would be able to, especially a 90 pound girl, she ain't going to be able to manhandle a guy like that. So, regardless of you, regardless if it's Stu or not, I mean, I sure do hope it is. You know? But if they do say it is Amber, I'm just. That's just terrible writing, in my opinion. You know, it's terrible writing. I don't. I just don't think that they should go that. They have to have some kind of closure because there's just no way in hell, and my there's no way that she killed Dewey. There's just no way. There's no fucking way, bro. Like, I don't care what anybody says. There's just no way. All right, that that was clearly. Like I was saying, a man that was doing that the whole time, you know, and how is it that there was different ghost faces in different, like, how is it that ghost face, the killer was basically teleporting, you know, many times throughout, you know, the film, throughout screen five and screen six? Like, you got to ask that question, like, especially in the opening scene when, you know, when Tara gets attacked and basically Richie's not even around. He's basically on vacation and Amber is, you know, in her house. So she's not anywhere around, you know, at that time, during that time. So you got to ask yourself one question, like, who could that person be? You know, you have to have some kind of like closure of that, like. And reveal who that was. So that's why I feel like there there should be a Scream 7. Why? I think that there will be. Um, of course, it hasn't been announced, as I was saying. But I definitely think there, I think that there will be a Scream 7. You know? um, I think that there should be. Because it, you, you just have to have closure and everything that, you know, as I was just talking about, the stuff that I was just talking about, you know, about the whole... Another another person, you know, killing Dewey and all that, and that person possibly being Stu, you know, that's just something they had to get more closure on, you know. I just don't believe, I just don't believe that at all. So there has to be some kind of reveal, some kind of reveal in Scream Seven, you know, and reveal that you know somebody else did kill Dewey. That's just what I think, because if you say that Amber killed Dewey, that's just, it's just not believable to me, you know? I just don't find that to be believable. I mean, as much as people really think that, you know, she was able to kill him and all that, that that's just BS in my opinion. Like, there's just no way that, you know, and a lot of people were actually speculating now, I'm going to make this a uh, kind of a longer video, um, obviously. But I hope you guys enjoy uh, the conversation. And be sure to hit that like button as always. But um, So the whole Charlie theory, right? We talked about the Charlie theory in my other video. We talked about, you know, the speculation. You know, people basically saying that he could be alive and all that. Well, I strongly disagree with that. And even if I disagree with that, it doesn't necessarily mean that it can't happen because I could be very wrong. 
you know. And, but a lot of people have a lot of theories, you know, about instead of it being Stu, a lot of people think that it could have been Charlie instead, instead of Stu, which I don't really find that to be that believable, if I'm being honest with you. Um, that's just my honest opinion. But, hey, I mean, anything, I guess anything is possible in the screen franchise, as I was saying. And I'm not going to sit here and say that it can't happen because – We've seen a lot of crazy shit that was supposed to happen that didn't happen. Like I said, the whole Stu return and all that was supposed to happen, you know, in Scream 3. They were going to bring back Randy, you know, Randy's character um, in Scream 3 as well. I think they were going to, like I said, they were going to hide him, basically say that he faked his death. So, I mean, there's a lot of a lot of crazy shit that was supposed to happen that didn't happen. But it could still happen, you know what I mean? Like Randy's return, as I talked about that, a lot of people may not, you know, want that and believe that, but I think that it could be something that could work. You know, that's just my honest opinion, my feelings, because if Wes Craven was planning on bringing him back um, originally, going to say that he faked his death, well... Isn't it possible that he could have been, like, one of the masterminds? I mean, you just got to think about that. But as I was saying, you know, the whole Stu thing, okay, maybe maybe it isn't Stu. Maybe it is somebody else, you know? And I'm not sitting here saying it's Stu, but all I'm saying is that I hope it is, and I hope that, you know, I hope that they do it. I hope they, they really think about it, and I hope they – really go through with it because it fits the story, the whole story, you know, of him possibly killing Dewey, like I was saying, him attacking Gale, him attacking, you know, Tara in the opening of screen five. Um, so, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I mean, it just fits the story for his return. Like you basically lay down everything, you know, you have everything, you know, you establish basically everything, you know, the whole Dewey death, all that shit, right? I mean, the whole, you know, him possibly attacking Gale and all that, Scream 6. So, I mean, it's just, and then why, and, and I just got to ask this one question, okay? Like, why does, why in the hell, I'm sorry for cursing, but. Like, why would Radio Silence, like, put all these clues in the, in the films, especially in Screen 5 and Screen 6, you know, if he wasn't truly, like, alive? You know, that, that's just my, my, that's just what I'm, th- like, what I'm thinking, you know? Like, I don't understand, like, why, like, why would they show us and basically give us clues that he's still alive and all that? And knowing that, you know what I mean? Like, why would you do that? You know, that's why I get a feeling that that they're going to be going through with it. But, of course, we're getting new directors. We're getting new, you know, writers and whatnot. Um, So we really don't really know what these new writers are really going to explore. We don't know what they're going to do. You know, we don't know what ideas they have. They could be thinking about that, you know. And maybe Radio Silence themselves weren't, weren't thinking about that, possibly. You know, it, it's very, very possible. I mean, you got to think about all that. Um, So I just think that, you know, having new directors and all that, I think it opens the door a lot more than when Radio Silence was still supposedly on board with the film. And then obviously they step down. Um, I definitely think it's definitely, you know, it's a possibility. You know, and a lot of people are going to disagree. And that, like I said, I, uh, everybody's got their own opinions, as I was saying. And everybody's got their own beliefs. So I, I just think it could work. You know, a lot of people feel like it's going to be like the Emperor's Return and all that, which. I don't even think it's going to be like the Emperor's Return. Like, I just don't. I don't think it's going to be anything like it. 
You know, that that's the biggest like comparison, you know, that people think that's gonna be like, you know, the emperor's return in a lot of ways. And then, and I, and again, I'm not comparing, you know, Star Wars and Scream to each other. I'm just basically saying that that's what people honestly think. You know, like people think that like his return is basically similar to the Emperor's return in a lot of ways. Because the Emperor, which I don't want to get too much off topic here. Um, the Emperor basically came back, right? After getting killed by Darth Vader in a weird way. Like he got electrocuted and I think he got thrown down this damn uh i think he, i think he blew up and all that as well so to me the emperor in my eyes died personally you know i don't think that he should have returned i don't think that he should have i think it was just for fan service and yeah that just ruined the whole movie like they just basically just brought him back for no damn reason like so but anyways, the whole Stu thing makes a lot of sense. He could easily, you know, compared to getting blown up and all that, a person could easily survive a TV. I mean, survive a TV, it's not like you're blowing up or exploding or something like that, you know? It's kind of like a different, it's different, you know? It's not the same as blowing up or exploding. Like the Emperor, you know? But, yeah, the Emperor's return, you know, I have, you know, man. I could go on and on about that, but I, like I said, I don't want to get, you know, too much off topic here. I want to stay on topic as much as possible. Um, But, yeah, you know, that, that's just my opinion. I don't think that they're going to make it like the Emperor's return. I don't think. I mean, look at Luke Skywalker, right? I mean, Luke Skywalker came back, you know, so why can't Stu? I mean, why can't Stu? I mean, Luke Skywalker came back, you know, the Star Wars and uh, the Emperor came back to Star Wars, you know? So I, like, I just don't think... It's not impossible for Stu to return. It's just not. You know, it could still happen. It could still happen. You know, it's just a matter if you know, if are they thinking about it? You know, are they? And and the main question is: Is Sydney going to be on board for you know, or Neb Campbell? Excuse me. Is Neb Campbell going to be on board to come back? That's the main question because. We still, we still do not know about, you know, that, you know, in terms of her possibly coming back. Um, but as I was saying, Nev Campbell, obviously you guys know what happened. She had a negotiation, you know, the whole money issue, them not paying her, you know, giving her the money that she deserved. Um, well, I don't really know if she's going to come back, you know, after all that, you know. I really hope she does. And if I had to guess, and as far as I know, of course, it's not it's not um, confirmed or anything, but I definitely think it's possible that she could return, you know, for this next film. Because a lot of people, now hear me out here, a lot of people have a lot of problems with um with the whole thing with you know Sydney coming back people feel like they should have just ended you know they should just leave her character alone and just let her you know be and all that which I understand but at the same time Scream 5 did not give her a proper uh, a proper ending at all you know Scream 5 did not give us you know, what we needed to basically say goodbye to her character, you know? 
She was basically just sitting in the back of the ambulance. And that, that was basically it. I mean, that's not really a proper goodbye, in my opinion. So I think that they definitely should go about it a little better. They need to think about, like I said, negotiating and Paramount, if they're not involved no more. I mean, Paramount, I guess, is... Paramount is the distributor, basically. But I don't know if they're going to still be involved with the, with Scream. You know, I don't really know any information like that yet. So regardless, if it's a new company, a new, you know, a new movie company, well, I, I think that it's possible that she could come back because it won't be Paramount. But I definitely do think that it's possible that Paramount could return. But as a as I was saying, it's a speculation at this at this point. You know, I don't really know anything one hundred percent. Like I don't know if there's going to be a new movie company involved, um, and whatnot. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to you know make this long video and just kind of give you guys my thoughts and my ideas and all that and just. Like why do I like why I truly think that we should get a Scream Seven and why I think we will, you know. You know, and it's very possible that we that we may not, you know, as well. But I just don't think that they're gonna just say, hey, you know, that's it. You know, I just don't see that happening. I definitely see another film, you know, being made. You know, and like I was saying, we probably won't get it until. 2025, 2026, as I was saying. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment down below as always, and uh, be sure to hit that like button as well, and let me know your guys' thoughts as always. Like, what do you guys think about Scream Seven? Like, do you guys really? Do you guys think that we're gonna get a Scream Seven? Do you guys think that we should get a, a Scream Seven? Because a lot of people don't think that we should. You know, a lot of people don't feel like Sydney should come back just because they feel like they should, you know, move off of her already. A lot of people like, and I agree with this one point that they should have ended her. They should have moved off of her in screen three. You know, that that's just my opinion. But they didn't. They just brought her back anyways. You know, basically continued. She basically continued, which I didn't have a problem with because obviously it's Sydney. Of course, I love seeing her, but I'm just saying, like, a lot of people had a problem. Like me, I, I, I just really thought that Screen 3 would have been, like, the proper, you know, the proper ending for her character because of the way that, you know, the door was, the door opened at the end and all that, you know. It's just it just all fit you know fit all that but but it did it, it didn't happen you know Wes Craven wanted to keep her you know wanted her wanted to continue her story so that's just basically what happened but anyways guys let me know in the comments what you guys think as always and be sure to comment down below and be sure to hit that like button as always and hit that notification bell as well. Um, and just give me your guys' thoughts about Scream Shopping. Um, with that being said, y'all, see you in the next one.